Tonight we're reading the second part of Thomas the Tank Engine. Four stories. Let's get past the first one here that we read last time. Oh, here's the new one. Thomas's Train. Thomas often grumbled because he was not allowed to pull passenger trains. The other engines laughed. You're too impatient, they said. You'd be sure to leave something behind. Rubbish, said Thomas crossly. You just wait, I'll show you. One night, he and Henry were alone. Henry was ill. The men worked hard, but he didn't get better. Now, Henry usually pulled the first train in the morning, and now Thomas had to get his coaches ready. If Henry is ill, he thought, perhaps I shall pull this train. His train. Thomas ran to find the coaches. Come along, come along, he fussed. There's plenty of time, there's plenty of time, grumbled the coaches. He took them to the platform and wanted to run around in front at once. But his driver wouldn't let him. Don't be impatient, Thomas, he said. So Thomas waited and waited. The people got in. The guard and the station ma master walked up and down. The porters banged the doors and still Henry didn't come. Thomas got more and more excited every minute. Sir Topham Hatt came out of his office to see what was the matter and the guard and station master told him about Henry. Find another engine, he ordered. There's only Thomas, they said. You'll have to do it then, Thomas. Be quick now. So Thomas ran around to the front and backed up to the coaches, ready to start. Don't be impatient, said his driver. Wait till everything is ready. But Thomas was too excited to listen to a word he said. What happened then, no one knows. Perhaps they forgot to couple Thomas to the train. Perhaps Thomas was too impatient to wait till they were ready. Or perhaps his driver pulled the lever by mistake. Anyhow, Thomas started without the coaches. People shouted and waved at him, but he didn't stop. They're waving because I'm such a splendid engine, he thought importantly. Henry says it's hard to pull trains, but I think it's easy. Hurry, 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 he puffed, pretending to be like Gordon. As he passed the first signal box, he saw the men leaning out, waving and shouting. They're pleased to see me, he thought. They've never seen me pull in a train before. It's nice of them to wave. And he whistled, beep, beep, thank you, and hurried on. But he came to a signal. Danger. Bother, he thought. I must stop, and I was going so nicely, too. What a nuisance signals are. And he blew an angry beep, beep on his whistle. One of the signalmen ran up. Hello, Thomas, he said. W what are you doing here? I'm pulling a train, said Thomas. Can't you see? Where are your coaches, then? Thomas looked back. Why, bless me, he said. If we haven't left them behind. Yes, said the signalman. You better go back quickly and fetch them. Poor Thomas was so sad, he nearly cried. Cheer up, said his driver. Let's go back quickly and try again. At the station, all the passengers were talking at once. They were telling Sir Topham Hatt, the station master, and the guard what a bad railway it was. But when Thomas came back, they could see how sad he was. They couldn't be cross, so they coupled him to the train, and this time he really pulled it. But for a long time afterward, the other engines laughed at Thomas and said, Look, there's Thomas, who wanted to pull a train but forgot about the coaches. That's the end of story two. Be sure to follow us to get the next one probably tomorrow. I mean the back one? Yeah. This one, Thomas and the Freight Cars. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Like this video. one? Like this story? Yeah, all four of them. We'll read all four. The front one is this one, and the middle one is this one. And this one is the page, and this is the end. Yeah. Good night, everybody, and goodbye. And don't forget to have some subscribe. Yeah.